you think what's holding you back is you just don't know enough. You don't have the smarts, you don't have the skills, you just don't know enough, right? That's the problem. You think what's holding you back is that you're not good enough, right? You just don't have the talent. It just doesn't come naturally to you. It's easy for other people, it's hard for you. You think what's holding you back is you just don't have enough. You, you don't have the money, you don't have the connections, you don't have what you need. You can't do what you want to do because what? Why? What would you say there? Whatever your reason is, it's total crap. It's all excuses. It's not that you don't know enough. It's not that you're not good enough. It's not that you don't have enough. There is nothing external that's keeping you from moving forward, that's keeping you from becoming who you want to become, from building what you want to build or having what you want to have. There is nothing external. The battle is up here in your own head. The thing that's keeping you from moving forward is you. You are the problem because you just don't do enough. You waste time, you overthink everything, and for some reason, you're just waiting for someone to come along and make things easier for you. You're waiting for someone to come along and save you, for something to just swoop in and make everything easier for you. You're waiting for what? You have a doing problem. And as long as you spend more time blaming or focusing on the things you don't have while you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you don't have the things that you need, the more time that you spend blaming and playing the victim, the more time you waste. And that is time you will never get back. Wanna know what true unhappiness is? It's looking back and realizing that today you're in the same place you were six months ago or a year ago or worse, like years ago. It's when it hits you that while on the daily, small things may have changed on the inside, at your core, you're still the same person. You're still spinning your wheels. You're still fighting the same battles. And these are battles that you were fighting years ago. And that's because no one, no one can come in and do the work for you. True unhappiness is when it hits you that you're not doing the things that you need to do. You're not putting in the time, you're not putting in the effort, the hard work that it takes to be able to do what you wanna to do, to stay with it, to see progress, when you realize that you're not doing any of those things. True unhappiness comes from knowing that you, not some outside force, are actually the problem. I know this unhappiness because this is something that I had to come to terms with myself. You wanna lose weight? I wanted to lose weight for a decade. I tried a lot of times, but it was only when I actually took responsibility and it hit me that no one is gonna tie up my shoes for me. No one is gonna do the push-ups for me. No one is gonna run the 5K for me. No one is gonna make you stop eating what you shouldn't eat. No one is gonna make you start eating what you should eat. No one is gonna come along and decide for you that enough is now enough that it's time for change. No one is gonna come and try for you. You wanna level up a core skill? Build that muscle memory, get out of your comfort zone? I wanna be a better writer. I wanna be better on camera. I wanna be a better speaker. No one is gonna do the research for me. Uh, no one's gonna watch the videos for me. No one is gonna sit here and do take after take after take for me. And for you, no one is gonna take the tests. They're not gonna chase you down. They're not gonna make sure that you do your work or that it was your best work. They're not gonna hold you accountable. No one is going to come along and try for you. You wanna get better at sales? No one is gonna send the emails or book the meetings. You wanna be a better partner? No one is going to help you be more grace-filled or forgiving. You wanna start a business? No one is going to start it. Figure out the products, figure out the customers, build the brand, start the sales. No one is gonna build your team for you. No one, no one is gonna come along and do the hard work for you. That is on you. So if you don't have what you want, stop looking at all the outside things that are keeping you from getting what you want and start looking at what you're actually doing. What's keeping you from putting in the work, right? Up here, what are you so afraid of? 
How are you spending your time? Are you putting the time you need to put in every single day to move yourself forward? Do you even want this really? Are you consistent? Or are you just putting in time here and there? Let's break this down. Let's make this tactical. What's keeping you from putting in the work? Here, I put together a list. Can't get a babysitter. Need large crowds and we can't meet right now. I need a million dollars. I need a hundred person team. Or, you know, you're stuck in school. You're stuck with the kids. You're stuck in a dead end job. You're stuck because you don't have the training. What's keeping you? What's really keeping you from focusing on this right now? What are you so afraid of? That you may not be good enough? That you just don't have it? You might try, you might fail. Go ahead, list everything out. List all the reasons. And then I want you to stare at it. I want you to look at all of those reasons that are really just excuses. And I want you to realize that it's all, just start. Just start with the smallest thing. Okay, next. How are you spending your time? Are you focused on the things that will help drive you forward? Or are you just focused on distractions? Do you really need that new website? Do you really have to wait until that meeting next month? Do you really need the new photos before you start or that new outfit? Does everything have to be perfect all the time? Spend more time every single day focused on the things that you need to do. Work your ass off and you will see progress. But then of course we have to ask, do you really even want this? Now that's something you have to ask yourself. Something that you have to be able to tie to your greater why, your greater purpose. Because there are gonna be days when you doubt yourself. There are gonna be days where you hit the challenges, where you question if what you're doing even matters. And you need something that you can hold on to, something that, that you can remind you of why you're doing this, of why this is important, of why this is something that matters to you. And if you find when you're looking at this that you don't really want it, awesome. Now you can go focus your time on the things that are really most important to you, not the things that you're doing because you think you should do them or because you once wanted them or because your ego was driving there. You can now actually focus on the things that are, are core to you, are attached to your purpose, are, are helping you drive forward on your bigger why. But please, please hear me on this. You are the problem and you are the answer. You actually have everything that you need right here, right now, to do something amazing. It may not be perfect, but that's awesome because we don't waste time striving for perfection, do we? It may not be how you want it to be or how it should be, but you will start and then you will learn and you will get better and you will actually make yourself proud. So I hope you hear me and I hope that you put in the time and the effort and the work today. So there you have it. Until next time, remember, you have to think big. You've got to be bold and you must say yes. If you want to know the one question that I've asked myself a million times since COVID-19 started that's helped me through, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot and I will see you there.